Hi YouTube friends, I'm Buddy and welcome back to my channel 2 Alpha Tools. Are you like me and you can make piles of hex keys because you hoard them from every, every Samba assembly required piece of furniture you buy? Kind of like this. If so, I want to start a movement. I want my movement to be my assembly, my choice movement. And have you join me in throwing away all these cheaply designed and chinese made hex keys and just have a set you can grab that has several options. Now, this Milwaukee folding hex key set could actually be the solution to cleaning up this mess of hex keys that I got just laying around. This Milwaukee, this is Milwaukee's new folding hex key set. They're made in Taiwan, which is typical nowadays. I don't believe it says it anywhere on it, but it did on the packaging. Uh, they are made in Taiwan. Uh, and you can buy them either individually, like I did, or as a two-piece set. Both sets have what they call an access zone. And in the access zone on the handle, you can see where it has all your sizes right there. And on both sides, they have a shelf, which I thought was really neat. So you can... Fold these out very, very simple. It's not difficult like some of the other ones. Now, I, oh, both of them actually do have the shelf piece right there with the respective access zones. This is the uh, SAE set, and this is obviously the metric set. I've been using these Eklund made in USA ones, and They've been doing just fine, but like with this old design, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to get out, especially on the smaller ones. These bigger ones aren't too bad, but if we take a look at the smaller ones here, you know, you can loosen them up. See, this one is pretty loose already. They don't really like to, except for that one, wants to free float which they had their own type of little shelf in here, but the new designs nowadays with these are just farly better than this old design. Like I said, these are the three Eklund ones that I do have. That one, SAE, and then the, the smaller ones, smaller SAE ones. And then here's this old Allen set that I absolutely love that was handed down from generations. And I like the, the length of these. You know, my family has learned how to fix that old problem right there. And they're not coming out, guaranteed. Uh, but these Milwaukee ones, the only thing I do have to say is they're fairly short compared to this old Allen set. Uh, so if you need a longer one, I do know that Bondus makes a longer set that's in a metal frame like this. Uh, and the Bondus ones are made in USA. But let's get back to the Milwaukee keys here. These hex key sets. They have a standard black oxide finish. The handles have the markings on them just to show which sizes you're getting into. And the body has a full metal construction and it feels it feels really good on the hands. I do like the wider style compared to this old metal metal style that's really thin. Uh, ergonomic handle and in all of these the keys will rotate 270 degrees in both SAE and metric now the sizes that you get 
for your SAE sizes are right there. We got 530 seconds through 564 so on this side. So generally your smaller Allens, hexes, and then we got a quarter inch, 730 seconds, and 3 sixteenths on this side. As far as the metric, it's going to be the same build as the SAE ones. And there's their sizes. We have one and a half going up to four. And on the other side, we've got our five, six, and eight. So similar to this old Allen set. As far as your larger sizes, we're still going to have the all the way up to the 3 sixteenths, even though this one does go a little bit larger. But what I'm going to do is with these Milwaukee ones, I'm going to give them a trial. I think they'll be just fine. Uh, if anything, they're definitely going to replace this old Pittsburgh metric Allen set that I got. And as you can see, I had to, you know, fabricate something being rubber to hold it because that was the annoying part in Pittsburgh build fashion. We have to adapt to what we got, but these Pittsburghs, I will probably put in my truck. And if I have to use them later on down the road for somebody, uh, I'll end up just giving it to them. For sure they're not worth hardly anything I might have paid uh, two dollars or something on those uh, as far as the X keys uh, instead of throwing them out what I'll probably do is send these or give these to my local restore and then they can sell them or you know, whatever they decide but let me know in the comments section what flavor of hex keys you guys prefer and if you would just rather use these craft single ones around the house. Uh, if you like these, like this Milwaukee hex key set, you can run out and grab yourself, you know, SAE metric. And they do have a Torx. Uh, unfortunately, my store didn't have it, so I don't have it uh, available to show you. But as always, hope you guys have a good day. Bye for now.